Hey guys, today's video is going to be about how to test a product purchase in Kajabi. So this is after you've created your product, your sales page, your offer, and set up all your automations. And you want to test to make sure everything's working properly without using your own credit card to buy your product. So I'm going to show you how to test the whole process. So just as a quick overview of the process, testing a product purchase. The first step is we're going to clone our real offer. We're going to give it a price of zero. We're going to redirect this call to action on your sales page, sign into an incognito browser and buy your product, confirm your dummy account in Kajabi, and then redirect the CTA on your sales page. This step is very important because you want to make sure that you're using your priced offer. So first, we're going to go into Kajabi, go to Offers. This is our real offer. You'll see it has the price of $97. We're going to clone it. So here we have our real offer and then our cloned offer. I'll open the cloned offer in a new window. And then we're going to rename it. We want to make it something really clear that this is the free offer. And then change that price from 97 to 0. So the next thing is you want to make sure that all your automations are the same um, between this is your real offer and the cloned offer. Offer. So I'm going to check the after purchase settings. I have the default email and then notification sent to the team. Then these two automations, add a tag, subscribe to an email sequence. And this is the free offer. I'm going to save it so that it, we can see that. Then we'll go down. You'll see that the after purchase settings were cloned correctly, but the automations were not. I'm not really sure why that happens, but so we're going to manually add them in, add a tag, the best course, save, and then add that second automation to add them to the email sequence. Save. So next step, we're going to go to our sales page and change the call to action. So right now it goes to our price to offer. We're going to change it to the free offer so that we can test it. So you're going to grab the link to the sales page and open up an incognito window so that you can test as an outsider, not as an admin. Go to buy now. And you'll see this is the free offer. You don't have to enter any credit card information or anything. If you have a Gmail address, you can add a plus and then any word after your name. Um, and before the at symbol. So this way you can use the same email address, but test multiple times, which is really handy. So you're going to sign up for free. Takes you to the success page, and this is where you would set up your account. So next, you're going to confirm that dummy account in Kajabi. You want to make sure that that person was added. Mm. So I'll log into my email. I have three emails. Um, and it took a little while. It took about 20 minutes to get these. So don't be alarmed if, um, if it's taking a while. I have one from Kajabi support to my real email address as an admin telling me there's a new student. I have this one sent to that purchase test account confirming purchase. And then this other one um, that gives you access to the course itself. Again, it was sent to that purchase test email address. 
So next we're going to go in as an admin to Kajabi, make sure that this person was added and tagged properly. And yep, it looks like all the automations are set up correctly. Finally, the most important step is in your sales page, you want to redirect that call to action back to your priced offer if you want to make any money. So just make sure that you do that. Click Save. And that's it. So that was it. That was how to test a product purchase in Kajabi. Make sure that all your automations and emails and everything are set up properly. It's a good thing to test every time. It will, if nothing else, give you peace of mind that your whole system is set up properly.